all right hello everybody and welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to be learning html forms by building a registration form and the form we are going to build is going to look like this one right here so this is what we will be building as you can see we have some h1 text here some paragraph here and we have some input here for our user to provide us with some information we have this radio button and a checkbox and we also have an option for the user to select a file and yeah we also have this text area here and then the submit button yeah so this is what we'll be building and so far in this series of videos i've done videos on learn html by building a cat photo wrap we've worked through learn basic css by building a cafe menu We've also done learn CSS colors. I will leave link to all of those videos in the description below. In this one, we are looking at HTML forms and we'll be walking through a series of 63 lessons. All right, so let's get started with lesson one. Okay, so like we've been doing, uh, if you want to start an HTML file, the first thing you have to do is to declare the doc type. Now, what this doc type does is to let the browser know what type of document it's reading. So in this case, the type of document is an HTML. So here's how you declare the doc type. You write doc type like so, and you add an HTML attribute to it. Okay. All right, so for the next step, we are going to add an HTML element. So we need an opening HTML element and we need a closing HTML element. Okay, and for our opening HTML element, we want to add an attribute lang. The value of that attribute is going to be en. And this is just going to tell our browser that the default language of our page is English. Next up, we want to add a head element and a body element. So first, let's start with the head element. And then let's add a body element. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so once again, our free code camp is free, but the reason why it's free is because people donate. And so if you want to donate, you are encouraged to do so. But for now, just click ask me later for us to be able to continue our tutorial. Okay, so next up, step four, we want to add title and metro element. So we we'll start with a title element, add a title element like so. And also, let's add a metro element. So the metro element is a self closing tag. Okay, so we don't need to do a closing tag like so. All right, this is unnecessary because meta is a self-closing tab. All right, so we want to give your project the title of registration form. Let's do that quickly, registration form. And we also want to give it a char set attribute with a value of UTF. And that will be for the meta element. So give it an attribute called char set. And the value of that attribute is UTF dash eight all right okay so we are making progress step five note nest a self-closing link element within the head element give it a real attribute with value style sheet and an href attribute with a value styles dot css okay so what this link at link element is going to do is to help us link our CSS file where we'll be styling 
our page or our form in this case. So we say real and we say style sheet. And the href is going to be the name of our style sheet or the name of the file, our CSS file. So styles.css. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's continue. Now, within the body, we want to provide a heading context for the form. So we want to write what the form is about so that our user will get an idea. So in this case, we'll use an H1 for the heading. Of course, that's the main heading. So H1 like so. And the text we want to give it is a registration form. Just to tell our users that hey this is a registration form okay next up we want to add some text to ask the user to fill the information so we we'll use a a paragraph element or a p tag okay and uh, we'll say let me just copy this All right, so we say, please fill out this form with the required information. Uh, once again, this is what we are building. Okay, so this is the registration form header we have here. And this is, please fill out this form with the required information. And next up, let's see how we are able to, we'll be able to add this input here. All right, so the VH stands for viewport height and it's relative to one percent of the height of the viewport so it's time to spruce the project up with some css so begin by giving the body a width of 100 percent and a height of 100 vh so view height is just the height of what appears on the screen right so from here all the way to down here is what we call view height all right, so as you can see at the top here, we now have our styles.css page, okay, which is empty at the moment. We also have our HTML, which is where we'll be writing our markup. So we'll be writing our markup in this tab here, and then we'll be writing our styles in this tab here, okay? So for a start, we want to give the body a width of 100%, so we say body. That's how you write your CSS, the name of the element you want to style, and then a property you want to add. In this case, the first property you want to add is width, and then the value of that property, which in this case is 100%. Okay, like so. All right. Next up, we want to add the height, and we want the height to also be 100 VH. Okay. Now for step nine, <coughs> we want to get rid of get rid of the horizontal scroll bar by setting the body default margin added by some uh, browsers to zero. Okay, so let's do that. We we'll say margin and we we'll say zero. Okay, so. Uh, if you're not sure what happened let me show you You see now the text is touching the edges of the preview tab right before it wasn't like so so let me clean what we just added and see so for example I'll clean this up and as you can see now there is a bit of space or margin between the text and the edge and that's because browsers have their own default styling that they add to the various elements right so with css we can override those styling and add our own style so in this case when we say margin zero it overrides the browser styles that margin that the browser automat 
automatically added by default and that's because we are going to be adding our own margins and our own styles to it okay let's move on all right this is better make the background easy on the eyes by adding a body background color and then to see the text change the color to this color right here so first let's start with the background so background color and we'll say uh let me just copy it so i'll copy this and paste all right now we have a background color similar to what we have here so now i want to change the color of the text to this kind of white looking color so let me just copy it and i'll say color all right so now we are getting closer so uh this will be it for this video let's continue in the next one so i will see you in the next one